Hi, now we are going to discuss about a very interesting and maybe one of the most important HR function in any organization which is known as commonly HR generalist. Yes, nowadays because of the different new implementation of management and business concept and also the alignment of the business with the HR department has actually resulted to evaluation of different types of new HR profiles like HR business partners, center of excellence and a similar kind of role. But on the other hand, most of the traditional organizations or most of the conventional organizations are still looking forward for a profile which is known as HR generalist because they do not really have that kind of budget and structure or planning in place to have different types of HR profiles in the organizations who can manage different functions and can do it in a very structured and in a very planned method. Therefore, they are looking forward for HR profiles who are actually responsible for managing different types of HR function altogether. Starting from the business alignment to HR operations, different employee life cycle management, everything would be the primary responsibility of that profile. So let us understand at first what are we going to study, what are we going to cover in this particular course of HR generalist. At first we would obviously touch upon the primary rules and responsibility of a HR generalist profile which uh, actually is uh, being implemented in most of the organizations. We will also try to understand what would be the roles and responsibilities and the carry of such profile. So therefore we will understand how the HR generalist profile actually function in the HR department followed by uh, different uh, roles and responsibility at the organization level where we will understand how the HR generalist profile actually align their role with the business contribution, organizational development and different HR matrices. So how at an organization level they can contribute and they can perform. Obviously another very important roles and responsibility of HR generalist profile is employee life cycle management. Starting from their recruitment, then their project allocation, performance management, then their training and development, then their overall grievance management, different types of communication management, and at the end of the life cycle, the exit, the resignation, termination, or retirement has to be managed by the HR journalist profile. Also, they are responsible for the management of policy and process. There are different defined HR policy and process. There are different HR SLAs and also guidelines that has to be followed in the organization. Forms, paperwork, documentation has to be done by the HR profile and that is the primary responsibility of the HR generalist so that they are definitely going to do. Apart from employee life cycle, policy process management, they are also responsible for different types of HR operations. HR operations means which would be a different day-to-day -day engagement, different day-to-day -day operational activity, which can be different letter preparation, leave calculation, compliance management, salary administration, benefit negotiation, grievance management, all these daily HR operations also a primary responsibility of the HR generalist profile. And also they are responsible for the employee communication. Any type of top to bottom, bottom to top communication has to be done by them. Uh, so any kind of organizational announcement, any kind of uh, group level, project level announcement, any kind of communication that has to go to the management from the employees has to be done by the HR generalist profile. So they are responsible for the both way communication and as well as the overall HR operations. And the last two important points, it's also they are responsible for the business strategy and planning. Yes, this is definitely not at the level of HR business partnering role, but on the other hand, different types of business strategy that can be helpful for the talent management, for the talent development, for the alignment of the HR department with the business of the organization has to be done by the HR generalist profile. So they are also responsible a lot of strategies, a lot of planning activities, which is just helpful for the organization, which is also helpful for the employees is their responsibility. So with this note, we are going to understand gradually what are the different things that has to be done by the HR generalist 
and how it should be done we will try to discuss it in as structured way as possible also we will provide some of the basic documentation templates and forms which would be helpful to start the practice immediately if you are managing your profile as a HR journalist and also implement the same in your organization so we will try to provide the explanation through the video we will try to provide the framework and the structure through different downloadable documents also we will try to give you an opportunity to practice the same by providing you a capstone project or an assignment where you will understand where do you stand and how you will improve yourself as a hr journalist so a holistic approach towards learning hr journalist profile has been given again uh, before we start i would like to mention that hr journalist profile may not be the most modern and advanced approach towards hr profiles towards the hr department management there are much more advanced responsibilities right now has been implemented like hr business profiles business partners coes shared services but on the other hand if you talk about the acceptance if you talk about the usability if you talk about how the organizations are looking forward for the hr profile this is the most conventional traditional and still one of the most advanced level of HR profile in most of the organization. So if you really want to establish your profile as a HR, you need to start as a HR journalist. At first, maybe some basic steps and then you need to start as a HR journalist. Once you are expert in HR journalist, have gained enough knowledge and capabilities in HR journalist, you can definitely move towards more advanced role like business partnering, COEs, etc. So, for any HR professional, HR journalist is the start point and uh, this is how they will start their career. So let's understand what are the things that has to be taken care of, has to be learned whenever you really want to be a HR journalist at first in your career. Thank you.